We're going to continue chapter 9 with graphing coordinates in the coordinate plane. Our goal, this pink part right here, is to locate and graph points on the coordinate plane. You do not have to write the pink part, but please write the title. If you have graph paper, I highly suggest you use it for these notes. If not, these can go in your math notebook. We're going to start with some background knowledge. We're going to draw a coordinate plane. Anytime you're working with a coordinate plane, it's very important that you use a ruler and everything is nice and neat. This can't be done sloppy. A coordinate plane has an X and Y axis or a horizontal and vertical line. Notice when I drew that horizontal and vertical line, I drew it on the blue lines that are on the graph paper. The blue lines on the graph paper are there to help you. When you're drawing these lines, you don't draw them in the middle of the boxes. You draw them on the blue grid lines. Okay, so I have a horizontal line. This is called the x-axis. And this is a number line that goes on forever in both directions. So one, two, three, and then to the left, it goes on forever in the other direction with negative numbers. The vertical line is the y-axis. Again, this is a number line that goes on in both directions. Moving up is positive and moving down is negative. Notice when I'm drawing these numbers on this coordinate plane, again, I'm using the blue grid lines. I'm not just picking anywhere to put the numbers. I'm not putting a number here in the middle of the box. I'm using the grid lines. Some people have a hard time remembering the difference between the x and y axis. I like to remember that y goes to the sky, y goes up, y to the sky. Some other information you're going to need to know is the quadrants. Do you see, or are the quadrants, do you see that the x and y axis separate your coordinate plane into four pieces? One, two, three, four. There are four quadrants, and you're going to label these quadrants with Roman numerals. The first quadrant is in the upper right-hand corner. That's Roman numeral number one. The second quadrant is to the left of that. This is two. This is quadrant three, and quadrant four is IV. This stands for five. If there's a, a I in front of it, it means take, a one, take away one to get four. So these are quadrants. And it's important that you remember that quadrants need to be labeled in Roman numerals. Some people have a hard time remembering where the quadrants are. I like to tell students that Imagine that you're drawing a C on the coordinate plane. Do you see that the quadrants go in order of the C? You start in quadrant one and you move to quadrant two, to three, to four. The last thing you need to know is this special ordered pair right here. This ordered pair where the X and Y axis meet is called the origin. And it's special because it's the beginning point of the X and Y axis. It's the beginning of where you graph origin. When you graph on the coordinate plane, you're going to have something called an ordered pair, where the first value is your x, y, or your x value, and your second value is the y value. It will always go in this order. The first number is on the x-axis, the second number is on the y-axis. Okay, let's get to part of our learning target today. Part of our learning target is to graph points on a coordinate plane. They're going to give you ordered pairs and you're going to graph it. Now there is an opportunity for you to print out a worksheet and for you to graph right on that worksheet. But if you don't have a printer and you need to do this outside of the worksheet, you're gonna have to use graph paper. So when you're drawing a coordinate plane, again, make sure you're using the grid lines. And when I'm labeling the numbers on the number line, I'm using the grid lines as well. I think I'm going to go to five in each direction. Okay, 
it's important to remember that the x value in your ordered pair will always go right or left. And your y value will always go up or down. Okay, so if I'm graphing ordered pair A, I'm gonna start at the origin. The first number, the three, is for the y-axis. Because it's positive, I move to the right three. The second order pair is the y value, so you're moving up or down along the y-axis. Because it's positive, you're going to move up. When you graph ordered pairs, you put a dot again on the grid, unless if it's a decimal or a fraction, and you label it with whatever the label is outside of the ordered pair. B. Again, start at the origin. The first value is your x value. You're moving right or left. Because it's negative, I move left, same as the numbers here. The second number is my y value. It tells me to go up or down. Because it's negative, I move down. This is B. Push pause and try the last four on your own. C. The x value is 4, so I'm going to move to the right 4. The y value is 0, so I don't move up or down. I stay right on the origin. D. Start at the origin. I have a negative, so I move to the left 3. And I have a positive, so I move up. E, the x value is 0, so I don't move left or right, but the y value is 1, so I move up 1. And F, I move to the right 2, down 2. There's going to be a set of directions on your homework that asks you to identify the quadrant. So let's, let's use this same graph to identify. If we're identifying what quadrant A is, you're going to look. It's in this first quadrant. So I'm going to write a Roman numeral 1 next to this ordered pair. Find B. What quadrant do you think B is in? B is in quadrant 3, again, using Roman numerals. C is a little trickier, though. Think about what quadrant C is in. It's not in a quadrant. It's on an axis. So you can say one of two things. You can say it's on the x-axis. Or you could say it's between the first and fourth. You do not have to write both answers. Okay, push pause and label the rest of the locations. D is in the second quadrant. E is either on the y-axis or you can say between the first and the second. And then F is quadrant four. The last part of this is asking us to locate points on a coordinate plane. So now we're going to be writing those ordered pairs off to the side. We're going to start by labeling G. Just like when you're graphing on the, the coordinate plane, you're going to want to label it. Ordered pairs always have parentheses and a comma. Start at the origin. To find G, I see that I move to the left 5. Negative 5 represents to the left. And then I move up 3. Let's try H together. Start at the origin. Right or left first. I move to the right 2. And I don't move up or down. Label the rest of the ordered pairs on this coordinate plane. Push pause, try that now. I is to the right 5 and down 2. J is to the right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 5. K is not right or left, but down four. And L is the last one. L is to the left four and down two.